Okay. Hi. Uh. Hi. Hello. I'm, I muted myself. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. So. Uh. Uh. So he's he just uh. He just messages? told me that he's not gonna come. So. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. Yay. Yeah, we'll continue. That is, that is uh. That's awesome. That works out <laughs> well, nicely. That's bad for him, but good for me. <laughs> Um, um, okay, so so I had was trying to move, uh, I was trying to make the swap, but I, I had bungled my copy and paste, so let me get re. So it looks like integer and pointers are not the same size on this uh architecture, I guess. So we, okay. can't, we can't just do that. Um, I'm a little surprised by that, uh, but okay, then we can just do that struct thing. Um, not a huge okay. thing. Okay. Um, so, readout. Does readout actually match what it does? It will receive and print. Okay, yeah, readout, sure. Let's call it readout. Um, and then let's go up to the top. Or wait, you said that something didn't quite work. Wait, what didn't, wait yeah, jump me... down to readout, readout for a second. Okay. Um, yeah, I was behind. Okay. Okay. Fred. But before I do that, hold on. I had the so this is in, from okay. the serve. Yeah. This is from the server. This is what I had bungled, like moving the loops. Well, one into and receive. That makes sense. Okay. So I think that is now done Ooh, correctly. And then you had added in the pthread to catch. Oh, this came straight out of the other uh, thing, so this is right. wrong. Um, oh, that's wrong. Yeah. Oh, because there's no. Yeah. Okay. Um. So P thread detach C arrow T I D. Yeah, I I actually I'm not really sure uh, about these. Like, so set cancel type. That seems like it's necessary, but the detaching. I guess this Maybe would not. say what is the thread that we're detaching from uh not sure and softy charba maybe have that we can just like not worry about that until yeah it actually later. becomes necessary necessary yeah um okay so i'll just not worry about that so this actually won't work uh, this won't cool. work. Yeah. Okay. Because void pointer doesn't have, it takes up a different number of bits than int. Than the int. Right, right. Okay, uh, so that's what you were so saying. So, at least that's what the compiler is saying. Oh, yeah. Cast yeah. from, cast to pointer from integer of different size. Size. So we could okay. go try to figure out, like, what, uh, well, no, because sock D is a specific size. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess we'll need to uh, do the struct thing. Um, okay. So then up here we can do struct. Um, and this will be the uh, struct for. Is this sock D or this is the struct for? This is for the arguments to read out. Right. Uh, struct readout args is going to look like um, I see it. Right okay. now, the only thing that it takes in why is that so large? Um, the only thing that it takes in is the sock D. Sock D. Yeah. So int sock D and ah. Uh, we will also type def struct readout yeah. args to be readout args. 
so we don't have to type struct readout args everywhere. Um, so then we need to, when we do pthread create, we need to create a uh, uh, readout args um, args uh, and we can set the args arrow or args dot sock d to be sock d and then here we give the address of the args yeah okay okay and then okay down here we take in the address of the args and this becomes args arrow sock d um why what uh yeah so this becomes this and that should work um, and if we need to add any other arguments, we can do that fairly easily now. Um, so I think that might work. Let's go find out what the compiler thinks. No. Uh, dereferen dereferencing a void pointer. Yes. OK. So down here, this is a void pointer, so it doesn't know about the field named Sockdy, so we need to uh, cast it to a readout args oh. pointer, and then I'm not sure about the precedence of arrow, so we can do that and force the precedence. Let's see what it thinks about that. Hey, uh, Danny. And error. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go see what the error is. That's progress. OK. Yeah. So what is your OK? Oh, so it's down there. Actually... Connect... Yeah. Status. Connect okay. status. That one gives you that weird error. Yeah. Int connect status. Oh, is the server not running then? Maybe. Oh, that might be it. Uh, Kelsey server, um, make, okay, it was not running, client, uh, whoops, Danny, uh, okay, ASDF, ASDF identified, oh, huh, ASDF. ASDF says ASDF. Okay. So what is, what is your so name? Is Bean. That got ignored. But we are having because of it? two way communication. Is that because of like a, a weird GANAP thing? Like it doesn't, it's ignoring your Danny yeah, input? Yeah, that seems possible. No, ScanF couldn't have ignored it because uh because we got past it so i said yeah i said danny and you then did, i hit enter and danny. then i said asdf and asdf got sent okay so we're in the loop now that listens and right. sends so i i'm not sure what happened there um okay um, Scanner field and connect status. Hold on. Um, let's see. 
So why does the client, let's see, what is your name? And then it scans and it gets the result. Oh, do we not actually send? Yeah, we never actually sent it. <laughs> okay. No. Um, okay. So where is the call to send here? So we want to, what is your name? Then we wait until we connect. Then we should send. Uh, and then we should also. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. Cause we asked for the name early and then yeah. nothing happens with it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay. So you wanted, to, you wanted to ask for the name, then you connect. And then as long as there's no connection error, uh, then you send the name, right? Yeah. Do you, okay, now do I do that? Uh, so as soon as we connect, then we send the name. Then okay. we start the thread for listening to the server. And we start... Uh, reading from the client, from the user, and sending to the server. So, so I want to, I want to send, uh, like, right here before my error message, like, uh... Just after the error message? Just so after the error. You want to make sure okay. that connecting worked right. before trying to send. And then here, well... Where are you? I'm right I'm right here after after the error message. Else. Right? Uh, oh print. yeah, I guess. I don't have an else because there's an exit here. Oh, okay. Oh, you added the exit, that's right. Okay, 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 okay. That makes more yeah. sense. Okay. And um, then I see. It's a super common thing to do in uh C is uh, check it. for error and then like return. Um, yeah. Somehow, the only way that you can get down here is if that makes sense. Okay. This thing didn't happen. Um, and then you don't have as much nesting of code. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, so we ask for the name and then make sure that we were able to actually get a name. Then if we were, we connect to the server, um, and then we check if we were able to connect to the server. And if we were, then we send the name to the server and check whether or not that worked. And if it did, we create a thread to listen to the server. I guess we don't need to wait until here to do that. We could actually do that as soon as the connection happens. So you split into two threads. Yeah, that was one of the things I was going to ask. Does it matter when you send the result? Like, uh, you send uh, the name to the server. Yeah, so I think starting this as soon as possible makes sense listening okay. for input from the server right um although the server isn't going to send anything until after you identify yourself probably i i guess okay. i don't remember exactly how it's written but um probably that's the case uh in which case if we do this and then send this then we know for sure that we'll get every single message there is from the server which is kind of cool all of this stuff uh all of this stuff happens within like a very small amount of time so i think it doesn't <laughs> super matter i guess okay. send could take a while on a slow connection to <laughs> send 16 up to 16 whole bytes um Probably not. 
Okay. Um. So yeah, we start a thread to listen to the server's broadcasts. Um, so now we should have a client that goes both ways. Um, so we should be able to start multiple of these. Uh, and we're being oh, not very on. good I... with resources. Oh, okay. I can. It What's up? result. Uh, no, I just I'm I didn't do my if string compare. I didn't do the exit case. Oh, okay. Uh, but you were saying we're not being good with resources because we're yeah, we're just we're, like we create a thread and we have no no at all attempt to uh clean up that thread. Hmm. Um. What else? Uh, we we're exiting negative one everywhere instead of yeah. <laughs> like returning. Uh, we're print effing in different places. Mm -hmm. Uh, without now we actually do have printf in two different threads. I think yeah. So there's a printf here and a printf up here. So. Like ideally, we would create a mutex and make sure that it's locked before that before doing this. Um, and also, instead of printing to standard out, we would do it to standard error. But uh, I think I think we have a lot of checking for errors all already, and that this uh, could work. So we could go try it out. Um, I, or I, uh, where are you at? You're still doing something. I'm like tidying up my okay. mess because this was this was like messed up from my earlier like failed copy paste. I see. The section. Uh, so I'm just making sure I have now fixed it. Result equals send if result print f. Exit one. And then I have we have the return and then we had moved yeah, my comments have moved. Okay. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, let's go try it out. So, server side is still running. I'm just going to kill it and restart it anyway. Rerun it, yeah. 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 And then client side, um, Save this. what is your name? Ooh. Danny. Hey, that worked. Danny identified. Unable to read from standard in. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I have error. Unable to okay. read from standard in. Key? Okay, hold on. Did I remember under? Oh, I did mean that. Uh, 43. Oh. Um. And this one, what is that? 77? The, so the way that I use underscore is, at least in this case, is um, if I have a pointer to the thing that I really want, or if yeah. I have something that I'm going to be casting to some other thing, um, I the thing that needs to be casted has the underscore, and then the thing, the variable that I'm actually going to use is the same thing but without the underscore um okay yeah so like i wouldn't that name makes... this field yeah. underscore sock d uh, okay I... that's up in my struct at the top yeah oh okay okay so this shouldn't be that yeah and then so if you do that then you need to go back to to like line 43 for you uh this one here goes back yeah and then uh, 43 here. Yeah. <laughs> Make it worse. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then... Uh, so 
I'm not sure why it couldn't read from standard in. Standard in. So standard in. Unable to read from standard in. Okay, so there's two different places. Uh, oh, this is this is just wrong. Unable to. Uh, P send to server. Name to server. Um, so I'm not sure which of these two happened. Possibly, probably this one, probably the server failed. But we already connected. Why did that fail? Create a socket. Ask what your name is. Got the name, then it connects. Error. This is unable to connect to server. And then pthread create. I don't know. So I got this error message, undefined reference to pthread create. Uh, oh, so you need, up at the top, you need... I have pthread. I have it. Uh, oh, when you uh, compile, then you need the flag. Oh! Minus all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. LP, yeah, LP. Um, T thread. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, um, here, I'll just send you this make file. Uh, make file, send, attach. You can also type it in, but I'm like so lazy. <laughs> Uh, what were we doing? Network practice? Is that what I called this? I think so. Make file. Uh, hopefully the line endings are compatible with VS Code. Um, I can also type on, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, send it, I'll, I'll make it work. I sent it. I think. Yeah. It, oh, it. I'm not in messages. That's my problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's uh, me being... Too. That's okay. I have it. You got it? Okay. Yep, yep. Um, so I'm going to rerun mine and see what the deal was. So make client unable to send name to server. Why? Oh, this is wrong. This should be less than or equal to zero. Uh, cool. So I copied the wrong thing earlier. For result, if it's less than or equal to zero. Right, okay. Yeah. Right, like a negative one. Yeah. Unable to send. Oh, I yeah. see. So I think I'm going to need to take out this declaration here. And then, okay, we have int result. Yeah, so I had copied one of these where I was checking whether scanf worked. So that's why I was comparing with one. Oh. Instead of copying uh, one of the send ones. 
where I check how much actually got sent. Sent, right, right, right. And let's see what happens now. So the server makes no attempt at this point to detect that a socket has closed, which, uh, unless, until a message gets sent to it. Danny is oh. identified, ASDF, Danny says ASDF, JKL semicolon, cool. So mm -hmm. now I should be able to create another client 2 and make run client, what is your name, not Danny. <laughs> what? It read not as my name, and then Danny as a message. Oh, <laughs> that's good. I like that. But it worked. So here's uh. the here's the other client, and it got not Danny. Did I save this right? And Hold then on. the server got. Oh wait a minute. Which one of these? Okay, so it says down here. So this one's client two, this one's client, oh, and this one's also client. I lost server. Let me go find the server. Server. All right. Um, Kelsey server, not Danny. So then the scanf uh, <laughs> is forcing the input to be no the, spaces the so username like the... to have no spaces yeah 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 which i guess is fine um so okay so client if you, two if you I, input yeah like it in string like with with quotes around it would scanf allow it to have a space or no i, I just don't know if that works with scanf uh i am also not super not sure. sure we could try it out um oh okay yeah okay so we do need to fix that <laughs> um yeah uh so Yeah. Okay. So communication is going two ways, uh, mm -hmm. but the way that we are reading input from the user is not working. Not working. Yeah. So we need to get an entire line at a time from the user. Uh, we can use a C get line man page. I think there's a get line. There is delimited string input. Get line. Okay. Pound include. Get line. Get delim. Get line. Line pointer. Stream. And I think we want, in order to use get line, we have to define one of these things so I think so let's go reads an entire line from stream yeah so let's go use get line instead of scanf uh, so this would be in the client oops um, nope why is that not working client okay uh scan f we'll use get line and the three arguments were the an address of a line pointer so we want the address of the character pointer uh and then we how big of a line can we take in? 1023. And we want to read from standard in. 
Really? I thought get line reads from standard in. Return the number of characters read, including the delimiter character, but not including the terminating null byte. This value can be used to handle embedded null bytes in the line read. Both functions return negative one on failure. Okay, so we can still, uh, so here we need to change this to be, if it equals negative one, um, and then, wait a minute. Why are we giving the address of reads an entire storing the address of the buffer containing the text into oh a line pointer yeah is it does it allocate space alloc alternatively line pointer can contain a pointer to a malloc allocated buffer n bytes in size oh okay oh Oh, that's handy. Okay, so you actually could, uh, wait, does it have to be malloc allocated or could it be, if the buffer is not large enough, get line resizes it with realloc. Okay, reads an entire line, storing the address. Um, so that kind of seems like after calling get line, so get line will reserve space for you. Mm -hmm. And I guess you need to call free on it. So we wouldn't do this then. We would do declare this and not do that. Um, hold on. Um, so reads an entire line from the stream, storing the address into the buffer containing, wait, address of the buffer containing the text into line pointer, the object of line pointer. The buffer is null terminated, okay, and includes a new line character, if one was found. Okay, cool. Um, so then, yeah, it does that for you. And then I guess you uh, it's up to you to call free on it after that happens. So uh, here we call get line. If the result is negative one, then uh, get line failed, uh, returned, and then it can only return negative one. Um, so we don't need to say that anymore. We can just say get line failed uh, to get your name. Um, and then here, right after we, where's the send? Way down there. So right after we send, actually just before the next call to get line, which uh, we don't have yet. So here, scanf get line mm -hmm. and we'll put the address of buff and 1023 I guess wait what is that argument for the size yeah the n the n by itself what is that if line pointer is null, then get line will allocate the buffer. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. So, if line point is null. If line pointer is if the object of line pointer is null. Okay. So then we need to. Whoops. Uh. Where is buff? There it is. So we'll set that to null. Um, so get line will do the allocating for us, which means um, after get line 
so here, just before doing this, we want to free uh, buff and then set buff equal to null. Okay, it's a little bit janky, uh, but we already have <laughs> one uh, one call to read line up here. Mm -hmm. um, or get line, get line, and then down here we have another call to get line. So just before it, we can call free, free. and that makes sense. Set buff reset it to null, and yeah. then here we can do free buff. Oh my gosh. That's it's so string compare equals exit. Buff equals null. Uh, even though that isn't really necessary. Okay, okay. that makes sense. Um, so hopefully that works now. Uh, and now we are we're reallocating new memory every time, so we shouldn't have any like leftover string from the previous thing. Um, like there was uh, here, the I A N N Y is because I wrote on the client side. Uh, I mm -hmm. am client two and scan F right. got the I and yeah. Uh, and then so let smush me kill... the rest together. Kill your server and then rerun it. Other client as well. Yeah. Okay, so they're both dead. Uh, unable to receive from server. Oh, okay. So it actually does die as soon as the server is killed i guess um oh that's good yeah so so when yeah. i try when i try to do the make file uh, -huh. uh i updated mine it's giving me no rule to make target client.c needed by client oh yes that's because and I... you and i had different file names so oh uh, mine was called client.c and yours is called and mine's chat client it's chat client <laughs> i'm being stupid no worries. Chat client. Okay. Chat client dot c. This should be I think chat client dot c. But this will still work because I name it client here. Cool. Thank you. I'm sorry. Yep. No, that's good stuff. Um. So server side. Client. Um. Nope, nope, didn't like that. Uh, nope, it didn't like me. What did I do wrong? So, oh, get warning. line makes a pointer from an integer. What? Uh, oh, yes. Okay. So, let's go make that be the address of wait oh. oh that's how it tells you how much it read okay so or how big the line is so uh n equals or just n and then here mm -hmm. we want to put the address of n um, oh. And then here we put the address of n. And what did we put? Standard in, I think. Standard in. Ah. There we go. Okay. Um. Let's see if that compiles. Uh, 
um, argument two of get line incompa incompatible pointer type. Uh, oh, it should be a size t. Okay. Let's go make int n be a size t. And in order to do that, we might need to pound include something. Mm. What is your mm -hmm. name? Nope. Hey, there we go. Danny. And let me bring up the server. OK. Danny. Danny has identified ASDF. Unable to read from standard in. Oh, I think that's uh, the same deal as before. Uh, the unable to read. read. Oh, this is an old thing. So here, get line should be if the result is less than or equal to zero, we are unable to read message from standard in, and then we exit. Um, okay. Let's try that again. Go back to the server. Is the server still running? It is. That line failed to get my name. Okay, what did I do wrong? Uh... Oh, I probably have the... Okay. Uh... And it's uh, got a new line at the end, so... Let's go get rid of that. Um, void comp char star s. Um, int length is equal to stir len of s and if s at index length minus one is a new line then s at length minus one should be instead a null That's it. That's all it has to do. Um, and then we can result no buff. Yeah. So here we can do chomp buff. Okay, and uh, how are you doing? So I I got mine to run. Um, okay. So I got that working, but then uh, so I was jumping back to where you were chomping the new line. Okay. And so you were chomping. Um, are you chomping on buff for the name? Like when when you're not adding uh, the new line character when they when it reads in their name. Yeah, like the, so right the same after way we did line. it for server. Yeah. So, so right after get line, that makes sense. Uh, assuming get, well, uh, after confirming after the, the get after, line worked. Yeah, oh, then you do chomp. Wrong. This should be the if get result, line. What does yeah. get line return? Is get it line an, is return it? value. Uh, on success, it returns the number of characters read, including the delimiter, but not including the null terminating byte. This value can be... Okay, so uh, both return negative one on failure. Oh, okay. So get line should check for negative one, actually. Mm -hmm. Negative one. Okay, cool. And then we chomp off. Read 
Uh, yeah, and then chomp the buff right after. And then, then we can check for whether or not it's equal to exit. Oh, am I in the wrong? I might be in the wrong zone. Fail to get um, your. What did I do? Hold on. I have so I have. What is your name at the beginning? Okay. And then it should check for exiting. Uh, where do you have connects at? Unable to connect. Then you split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we have the connection. That's right. And then we split. Okay. 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 And then here we send the result. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, now we're sending the name after. We've created our thread and then una unable to send name to server, right? Okay, wall one, free buff, buff equals null. Yeah. Uh result equals get line. And here we use negative one again. Uh and it failed to get your is this a message that we're or unable to read? That's right, we're reading back. standard input okay and then here um and then you did another chomp yeah you did another chomp anytime you do get line it might include a new line at the end yeah so we can do chomp, chomp to get yeah rid of it. okay and then now you compare a string compared to exit and then if it passes that it can only get to here if it hasn't exited. Now you're sending it, and then this is, is this, yeah, less than or equal to zero? We had fixed that earlier. Unable to send message. Oh, I guess we have another case. Uh, so here it should free buff. Here it should also free buff. After, oh, in any of these fail cases, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is starting to look like uh, one of the only sanctioned uses of GoTo that I know of. What's GoTo? Um, GoTo? Um, yeah. So... Uh, I've seen that in, function before. It's oh, yeah. not... It's a... Uh, I don't know what it is. It's a directive? Anyway, directive? you can say GoTo yeah. and then a label. And you oh. can put a label anywhere in your code. Label. Yeah. So. Yeah, like okay. Yeah. If you do that, your code will execute, co be going along. Then it gets to here, the, and it'll just jump straight back up to there. The same way assembly again. works. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So this is a jump. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. If you're familiar with assembly, then. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yep, and it's the same. It's just like make files. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> patterns. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so in C, yeah. uh, it used to be that go tos were used a lot more, but um, they've fallen out of favor. But one place that they are still used is we have this like repeated code. Yeah. Um. And it's literally identical. Well, it's nearly identical. The only difference is what message gets printed out. So yeah. if we move that to the top, um, why? Oh, I see. And then and then anyway, jump. So then we can yeah. take all of these and move them down here, and uh, yeah, and then we could jump to that spot. Okay, that's um, cool. Yeah. Uh, but uh, let's not do that. And instead, let's go back to the server. Looks like it's still running. I'm just going to kill and rebuild it. And then see if the client is still broken. Um, 
Let's try that again. Whoops. Client. What is your name? Danny. Danny identified. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I'll start another client. Client two. And run. Uh, run client. What is your name? Not Danny. Let's see if that works. Not Danny identified. Woo! This is oh. a multi word message. <laughs> you did it. Okay. I need on. it. Uh, <laughs> I, I like. We're doing uh, sockets and multi-threading, and we're excited that we are able to read multiple words yeah. <laughs> from <laughs> standard in. Yeah! Okay, so... I should be getting... Uh, what is my name? So I got what is my name, and then... No, so what is going wrong? Hold on. Um, where are you? Okay. This is more text. So I'm yeah. So I was able to connect, right? Well, sort of. Uh, I didn't get, I didn't get an error code. I didn't get an error code, but I and I didn't get unable to send name to server, but I didn't get a. A message back. I didn't get any sort of message back. Yeah, hold on. Did I put it into the server code? Do you have two clients? You're on running? list. No, maybe that's. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. Is this one even connected? No, hold on. Let me reconnect. Open in terminal. And then it should. Although, I guess we added code to the server to echo back to the user the message that the user sent. Well, not that. So then I was like, wait, did I add that? Maybe I didn't. Uh, um, okay. So I think that might be part of it, too. Like, I don't think, I don't see it here. Uh, did I S? No, no, no. We do have it. Print S identified, and it should be after we get the name. Uh, but the uh, chat serve. Um. Mm. Where so somewhere in here, so and so identified, and then here no. Here, we nope, not there either. I'll just look for oh yeah okay so we grab the mutex and we uh go there oh yeah here here I added this line because. You added this line. This line. If Q not C. Uh, else no, send that, that was already in there. But in the Q. Yeah, in the else. Yeah, I have that, right? We assume this works, right? Yeah, I made a note. It does. Key thread, mutex. It works for me anyway. Q next. So so what is going on? Okay, hold on. Print identified. name string copy yeah because they we've now put buffer into name and then we add back the null terminating character and then we are supposed to say this person's identified but that's so that's not happening after i so so maybe hold on maybe this is a hot mess because i'm not even this never happens for me so the server side never says identified yeah, so I'm thinking that it has to be then when oh. I'm sending the name, right? Because it's not triggering an error on my client. Like, no errors are happening, so I I probably have something 
just wrong. <laughs> Hold on. It has to be there, I assume. Uh, so, so result get line. If result equals negative one, okay, and then we chomp buff. Then we connect. If it doesn't connect, we get an error message. I don't get the error message. Um, we set this information p thread. We'll read out address of args. Okay, so maybe here. So I'm sending sock d. Yeah, the descriptor for the socket. Buff. String length of buff. Oh, the uh, what did I do wrong? Um, you, we could start doing printf debugging. Yeah, that might be a good call. Um, so I guess, uh, can you show me the thing where you expect oh. something to happen and then something else happens instead? I'll just I'll reset it. So okay. so here I am. I'm gonna run my uh I'm gonna launch my server. So my server is up. Okay. I'm gonna put out of this. Um now on my first one I'm going to run my client. Okay. So it tells me what is my name? And then Kelsey. Kelsey. Oh and then, and then it doesn't like, say anything. It does a server does what does the server say at this point? The server says nothing too, so I know it hasn't received oh. anything. But I don't know why. That's what I'm. Are they trying both on to Tux do. three? Oh shit! Oh wait, no. The client isn't complaining about not being able to connect, so they are both on Tux three. They are both on Tux three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. This one's not, so I need to kill him. Um, he not he must go away. Um, okay, so then I guess let's start putting stuff in the server. Well, both. I guess the client, let's start off with the client. Let me just so, kill him. Okay. You do, what is your name? And then Kelsey. Yeah. What is your name? And then Kelsey. What is your name? Yeah. Uh, so what is your name? Then we get line. Then... Oh, what's up? Maybe, maybe it's where I declare my. I then declare. Hold on, hold on. What is your name? Int result. Get line. Oh. Uh. That no. should be fine. That should still work. No, it should still work. Yeah. For a second, I thought I had this, like, after this one, um, but no. The compiler wouldn't let you. Yeah, it would yell at me. Okay, okay. So, uh. it's not that. Okay. Um, so, connect status here. Connect Sakti serve adder. And then, if there's an error, I guess let's, uh, let's just do printf a new line yeah <laughs> b and then uh what you do you did b before d. the connect status error so I'm surrounding connect status with something before and after. Yeah, okay, I'm following now. And then now you're doing one. And then send with something before and after. Before, so I guess I can do it at the top here. Uh, this will be C. And then D after send, right? Yeah. For the error check. Oh, wait, 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 result equals send if result less than or equal to zero. Is that still what we want? No, uh, result. No, result equals send. Yeah, send, we, we do want yeah. it to be less than or equal to zero. Okay, I'm just making sure because I know that. Yeah. Okay, so now I'll run and see what that does. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
okay, I run my server. Now I run client make run client. What is my name? What? Okay, so it gets all the way through those. Okay. So then the let's go look at the <laughs> server. Yeah, I guess. I, <laughs> I guess we should right here. We should put this D just after the check for whether or not it worked. That's a good call. Um, and then I'll run it again just to see. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Still so it. then okay. let's go to the server side. Oh, wait, now it's telling me I was identified. What changed? Uh, what? I don't know. Try it again. Kelsey identified. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me, I'm going to kill him, and then I'm going to do... You know, I'm feeling crazy. <laughs> what like we that change? sometimes. <laughs> Okay. And now here I go. What is my name? Uh, let's see. And then go. Okay, to the and then server. I check. Okay, nothing has happened okay, on the server. Okay, that's weird. But then, if you when kill I the client, does then kill the, the client? No, it still hasn't done anything. But then I did. You started another. I did. I made another one. And that. And then time I you said, Kelsey too. And then I came. Oh, and then I I killed it. Oh my goodness. What? And then I came back. And then well, I don't there. know. And then it was there, but now it's doing nothing. Weird. So it's even weirder. Well, the previous time you did lowercase Kelsey too. That's a good point. Well, I, let's try that. Let's just assume. <laughs> let's just assume it's, it's really weird. Almost certainly not that, but um, yeah, yeah. Make. I don't see anything in here that's comparing what? uppercase versus lowercase. No, it doesn't make. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But like, make run client. Why did it work that one time? That is very strange. LC1, A, B, C, D. LC1 identified. Now it's working. What? Okay. What in the world? Maybe this is, maybe this is just Tux being weird. Uh... Here is a message. Here is a message. Where's the N coming from? Okay, so that's interesting. That is interesting. Where is the N uh, coming from? Is the chomping from? messed up somehow? Oh. Maybe I put in the wrong chomp. Maybe that's me. Maybe that's me. S and length. S length. S no, length. That looks minus one. I don't think I messed that up. Equals. Yeah, that looks right. I, I mean, I, I I use the chomp a lot. That that one's very sweet. I like it. F S length. Int length. My chomp. Okay. Okay, but, but where's that? N? That's what I was going to say. Where's the capital N coming from? I never typed a capital N. I typed that Kelsey. Weird. What the hell? Uh, okay, let's type another message. All caps now. Here is a message. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, so it's message. Message is getting put in here. Is what? Is the server upcasing? No, no, I put in I put in all caps now. Well, right, okay. But go back to the go back to the client. The client the client then sent me here See. is a message. Um oh, okay, never mind. And then this was me typing in all caps now. Okay. But why did it then show me 
I don't know. Let's uh. My message from early is this because it, does this make? I yeah. Don't know. So we yeah. uh in the server, we mm -hmm. added. I mean, I added here. Right, this. right, right, right. So that would send the, the, print the message. message back. Yeah. Um. So you have that too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I did put that in. So I'm gonna take that out because, well. I guess it's useful right now for debugging. Um, let's. Um, so we know on the server side that we are, the client is sending information. So let's go to yeah. the server side and see if we can figure out what the deal is here. Um, so we got buff, and we receive some information and we're receiving the name right now here mm -hmm. so this is i guess let's do print uh a and then b and copying into c name the name C name at n is a so the string uh stir n copy okay so stir n copy knows how long it needs to copy because of the mm -hmm. this n right here mm -hmm. um identified so it wasn't getting to here though it got to there I don't remember. It, it did tell me identified, but no, it, it did it. Didn't it tell me identified? No. Sometimes no? it didn't. Can you scroll back? Okay. In the... it, there's. It told. It told me here. Kelsey one identified. But what if you keep going? It back? didn't do it. It didn't do it every time. No, no. You're right. Yeah. It didn't do it every time. Here, I'll make this. Um, so bigger. I guess let's. But this yeah. is already a printf. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it failed. Uh, I don't see anything in here. Maybe string copy failed. Uh, let's put a something just before and after that. Um, okay. And maybe this failed. Oh yeah, we aren't we aren't doing anything like this either. Um. So let's yeah let's print uh, a message here like printf um, unable to receive from uh, username from connection and then then we'll be able to tell if it gets there. And this is in client. Oh wait, wait sorry, I'm yes. in the wrong spot. So no, yeah, yeah. So this is this is the the client should. The very first thing it receives is the name. And it uh, sends that as its name. Okay, cool. So we're yeah. unable to receive username from connection. We could print information about the connection. Um, but I think this is good enough to see if this happened. This could okay. be happening, yes. Because the, oh. the server would keep running. Right. Um, I think... How does the server... When does it call client? Here... So p mutex. So the server is as soon as it's accepting. So it's not an error here because this calls p error. And then p thread mutex. If c two. So we get a client lock. C two is equal to head. C two not equal to null. C two arrow sock. Is not equal to C arrow sock. 
what is happening here? We want C2 arrow next. So we're going until we get to C arrow sock. So the call to accept, we want to make sure that C2 is what is C2? C2 is head. So we want to make sure that none of the existing connections are the same as the connection that we just got, I guess? Not really sure how that could happen. Oh, yes. Uh, I guess they could be if the client tries to connect twice. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on there. I, I don't know. That's a line he gave us, and I was like, question. <laughs> what? Okay, so I then, don't know. Yeah. Uh, four C2 is equal to head. C2 not equal to zero. So here we're just counting how many things, how many people are in the list. Right. Uh, so here we are... Okay, we start off C2 is equal to head. We keep going while there are more things left in the list. And we also keep going until C2 arrow sock is equal to C arrow sock. And C arrow sock was just accepted. So somehow one of the things already in the list could be the socket that we just accepted. The thing that we just accepted would be a file descriptor. So we might somehow get the same file descriptor. And if we do get the same file descriptor, we want to kill that other thread mm -hmm. and delete that other thread. From the and then linked create list? our own. Oh, yeah, it's going to yeah. reuse file descriptors sometimes. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So the file descriptors get reused when an old connection dies, when a client disconnects. Okay. Then the okay. file descriptor could get reused. Um, so I guess this is another place where we need to check that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, cool. So then now let's add a print statement or two in here so um i guess this would be actually we should be able to tell just the... from this this if this doesn't even print out then this was an void client we can okay start adding more stuff so yeah let's just uh add that and then, I want to make sure. Did I add that one? Hold on. So I added inside of client. I inside added client. Just before and after receive. I added A and B. Oh, I did not add just before and after receive. Okay, hold on. Well, me... yeah. here after receive okay just after receive and then just before and after string copy because like yeah. maybe somehow the buffer maybe that's what is, it is. not is not null terminated and so this just goes on forever got um, it okay okay that's if it was not null terminated then it would probably seg fault not go on forever but uh i don't know i'm just we're trying to get more yeah. information yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, let me save these. Oh, uh, print up. Yeah, I did mean that. That was 129. Mm 
131. Man, I really messed up my typing. Cool. So it hasn't done anything in the server. Oh, and you said, what is your name? Oh, it didn't do anything. And I anything. said, what is my oh. name? It didn't do anything. Uh, that's it didn't cool. send. So the server then isn't even starting client. So let's look at where does it start the thread. So the server is... Here? CSOC, yeah, after it accepts CSOC, accept. Hold on. Uh, here. Okay. So let's do just before accepting, and if it's less than zero. So this isn't happening. So I guess let's do right here, just after. And then just uh, after, yeah. Uh, wait, just wait, before wait. Before and after the sock accept. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, just checking. Um, so it looks like the server. Yeah, the server isn't printing anything at all. No, it's printing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's hanging out. Maybe this is. Uh, you know how we we did reuse. Uh, some code. Port? Reuse oh, port yeah, and yeah. reuse adder. Maybe this is a consequence of that. Oh, interesting. Uh, is the and is that why you would want your? That's you would want. You want the OS to, to pick for you, right? For you, yeah. That okay. That that would make sense. Um, and possibly somebody else is running at the same time <laughs> as you. Well, I. I changed, well, okay, so I changed my port number from okay. what they were doing in lecture. Uh, okay. I made that's mine a good. little bit different because I thought, like, oh, well, everybody's going to be doing this assignment. Like, that's stupid. Um, right. But it, we, are, we are all using uh, the same computer, like Tux3 or whatever. Right. Okay. Well, okay. I guess that would be the next thing to do is go in and have it choose a port for you that is definitely open. Right. And then when we run the client, we would have to say what client it was. Okay, so now name? it printed A for, now, A. now it printed A for me What's on the, server the side? client side, and then client side did before accepting socket. And then uh, nothing. Uh, maybe, hold on, let me, let me kill this, because maybe, let me redo, let's just reset both of them. Okay. I'm and wondering if there's, me... like, stuff left over in the buffer for the socket or something that's, like, leaving it in a okay. partial, so, partially okay, red so state I, or something. I Go ran ahead. this, and then, sorry, I'm like, run. Make run client. Make, um, yeah. make run client. What is my name? I'm just going to go back and see. Like, okay, it's still, it's still there. And then Kelsey now did A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D. Okay, now it said before accepting socket, after accepting socket, zero. So I connected. But then it printed yep. before accepting socket again. That's the main uh, thread. Okay. All it does is accept a socket. Oh, that makes, okay, okay. And then this is probably me skipping a new line. Test before receive, test after receive. Test before string copy, test after string copy, and then Kelsey identified. So it, so now if I type, <laughs> words could go here. Go here, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's something about the initial connection sometimes never happens. But but maybe that's like what you were saying is because it's looking for that open port yeah 
yeah. we're not doing that. We're not letting we're we're not letting the OS tell us, the operating system tell us. Yeah. Hey, this is open. Okay, so I guess let's go look up how do you tell what port number you got from a socket? Um whoops. Uh let's go do that. Uh whoops. See uh socket get port number from sock adder. I think it's like sock adder info. How to get IP and port from a struct sock adder, yes. Except not in C. How to find my socket and port number? Get sock name to get IP and port. Yes. Get sock name. Get sock name. Get sock name. Sock FD. And then struct sock adder my adder len. Inet n to p af inet my adder my ip my port is n to hs okay so this is the section that we want okay. so um b0 sock name okay so there Setting do, do we all we need that length right yeah they're setting the whole struct to just zeros yeah and then the length of the my adder right and they're sending that into get sock name sock Why name would this take the address of a length i'm not sure um but whatever that's what they do okay <laughs> so it's a sock len t uh so we want um let's see where is i think i was just at it yeah here yeah so set sock opt so sock so there it. get sock name where do socket so struct adder sock sock fd um this is actually kind of hard to read the indentation is all <laughs> um get peer name no we want our own uh let's see get sock um or let's see get socket port and ip how to find out what port and address i'm assigned yes in c port Okay, so here. This... Okay, yeah, like you you said before, zero, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we bind. How do I find out what I'm actually given? Okay, so let's do. Um. Oh, I don't think there's enough time. Uh. That's okay. Yeah. So, here I'll send you this URL and. Maybe you can get that working. <laughs> get that working, yeah. So the uh, the the troubleshooting that I would do is mm -hmm. uh, set it to zero, allow the server to be assigned a definitely open port number, uh, mm -hmm. and it and then after calling bind, then you can figure out okay. Now that I've been bound, 
what port number did I actually get? Um, and then you could print that out on the command line, like right here. Print mm -hmm. out what port we got. And then when you run on the client side, you need to, mm -hmm. in here, you could do like port is equal to a2i on argv at index one, uh, and then use that. Okay. Uh, this does no error checking. There might not be an index one. So yeah. Anyway, I gotta go. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Bye.